secure his first win as a college football head coach against Texas State. UTSA will try to help coach beat his alma mater, Stephen F. Austin. Trailer played football for the Lumberjacks starting in 1986. He received two degrees from the university and met his wife there as well. And one of his stars versus Texas State was wide receiver Joshua Cephas, who made the spectacular one-handed touchdown catch with the cornerback all over him in overtime. That earned him the number one spot in ESPN Center Top 10. Thursday, we asked Joshua to talk about that play and all the attention he's getting. What I saw is I came to the line, and um, as I was lining up, he came to press me. And um, when I saw that, I knew uh, what I had. So off the line, he, he kind of backpedaled a little bit and then opened up and gave me the outside. So I just took the outside, stacked, and then just located the ball. When I made the catch, I, I was just trying to make a play, trying to win the game. And then afterwards, you know, just celebrate with the team. Joshua and the Roadrunners will host SFA Saturday. That game has been now moved to 2.30 in the afternoon, and it will air on ESPN2 at the Alamo Dome. Pro football coverage, powered by Davis Law Firm. The Houston Texans will host the Baltimore Ravens in their home opener Sunday afternoon. Baltimore hammered the Browns in week one, 38 to six, while the Texans lost at Kansas City, 34 20. But unlike the Chiefs, the Texans will not have fans in the stands at Energy Stadium, at least to start. This could change as the season goes on. Deshaun Watson says he has a job to do fans or empty stadium. Once we step on the field as, as, you know, players and coaches, we're, you know, so locked in on the, the task and the game plan ahead. You know, we kind of just block out that uh, that noise. And even if it's, you know, a crowd going up, of course, you can feel the energy of the crowd and, and things like that. But, um, you know, going out the first week and seeing the games around, you know, people were just locked in on, you know, what their task and what their job was. Houston and Baltimore will kick Sunday at 3.25 p.m. As we showed you earlier in the show, 5A and 6A volleyball teams are allowed to begin competition this week, and that includes the Brandeis Broncos. The Broncos, picked as one of the favorites in District 28-6A this season, have their first match tomorrow against Clark, 1.30 p.m. And the Broncos tell us watching the 4A and 1A schools or through 1A schools get the start on time has served as motivation for them. I was really excited since, like, 1A and 4A, for example, got to get going and like seeing where they were at. And then now that we get to hop into it, it's definitely really exciting because like we're very thankful that we at least get to have a season. It was kind of frustrating at first because I'm like, hey, why can't I play? Y'all are doing all this fun stuff. But we we're definitely able to still be happy because again, we're playing. And look what we found on the Twitter page of Smithson Valley Football, JV Bowling. Check it out, number 50 goes spin cycle, and then he takes off to see if he can hit a pile of practice pads with his teammates cheering him on, and he does. Here it comes. A perfect strike, and his teammates go crazy. Guys. That's amazing after all that spinning around. I know. Ran in pretty much a straight line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been going left and right and probably would have missed. All dizzy and stuff. <laughs> Man, that's pretty good, huh? Hey, SA Live, speaking of good, SA Live have a ton of deals, save you money, and even more great food. Mike and Fiona decided to get a little fresh air. They're out in the garden right now. Yes, indeed. It is Friday. It is so nice out here. The humidity has dropped off. We want to enjoy the beautiful weather and also some great food. And by the way, it is National Cheeseburger Day. Feast your eyes on that, baby. We're going to let you know where you can get this beautiful burger. Oh, that looks good. And we've got some multiple deals all around town that are going to save you some money on dinner tonight. And take a look at this cheesecake because the person who made it tweeted one picture of her cheesecake and she's been sold out ever since. We actually got our hands on one of Sierra's sweet cakes, as you can see, and these things are a hot commodity. We're going to find out about how it all started and when you can start putting your orders in. We are going to be eating good today. Hey, this beautiful jewelry is about a lot more than just fashion. How these hands made works of art are actually helping the lives of women across the world. Parents and teachers, listen up. There is a big giveaway you need to know about. 1,000 teachers are going to get an incredible gift for the classroom. We have the details and how you can enter the win and the deadline that's fast approaching. Hey, it's a tour of Texas Taste. Not sure what you want to eat this weekend? David Elder gives us a roundup of some great restaurants with at least one that will get your tummy rumbling. 
with all this good eating. We definitely need to squeeze in a workout where we can. And how's this for efficient? We're gonna show you exercises you can do on your Zoom calls. Okay, hey, cheeseburger day, National Cheeseburger Day. What kind of cheese do you like on your burger? Let is us know. It, is it American, cheddar, whatever? That's coming up on SA Live. Welcome back. We've got a couple showers down to the south and west of San Antonio today. Temperatures up around 90, but lower humidity already starting to funnel in, and we'll see that tomorrow. Sunday looks pretty good, too, although some showers and storms may move in later. Some tropical moisture arrives, and we'll be closely monitoring where Tropical Depression 22 moves, how it develops, and we'll have much more coming up on the later shows and also coming up tomorrow as well. Guys. It is Friday, and we have a beautiful weekend ahead. What more could you ask? Awesome. Um, what do you like on your cheeseburger? What kind of cheese? Um, Monterey Jack with jalapeno in, Ooh, in it. Sounds pretty good. I just go with American. American, Mar American cheese. cheese. American yeah. cheese. It's cheeseburger day. You know Mike and Fiona are outside, so it must be a perfect day because they wouldn't be out there doing a perfect day. Yeah. Perfect. So we'll see how perfect it is because SA Life starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from the KSET 12 studios. This is SA Live. Hello and happy Friday, everyone. It is the last weekend of summer and kind of ironic because it does not feel summery at all. Like no. Justin was talking about, the humidity has dropped down. It is great to get outside and Ah, just enjoy the fresh air. Good afternoon, I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Well, you know how you can make any Friday better? How about a Friday that is National Cheeseburger Day? Okay. Which is, you know, you've got one in front of you, yeah. I've got one in front of me, and we found a few places offering deals on cheeseburgers today. First up is a place that is synonymous with cheese, Chris Madrid's, of course. You can buy a cheddar cheesy burger and get the second one half off all day long. Hey, you can also get the margarita and michelada mixes to go. <laughs> Gotta wash it down with something. It's located Hollywood and Blanco, just kind of north of downtown. And of course, the shack on the north West Side is known for its over the top burgers. It has the same deal. Buy one cheeseburger because that one that you're holding is from the shack. Okay, buy one cheeseburger, get the second one half off. Not half eaten, you know, if, if Mike got mm. it, but half off. All right, it's located 7431 Northwest Loop 410. Okay, and you can go to the Cove and enjoy any burger made with wholesome meats beef for 20% off. It's premium beef grass fed on nutrient rich soil. Okay, we'll mm -hmm. switch reads. Mm -hmm. You get to taste okay, that now right. if you want to because, oh, a little bit of lettuce, it, tomato, pickle amazing. on there. It was great. So hey, Thiele's Burger, located on the near south side, was a KSAT 12 SA Picks nominee for best burger in the city. It slashed the price of the Cheesy Deluxe Burger. You can get it today for only $5.49. It's located at 543 Seralvo Street. And the these are all San Antonio restaurants, so go out there, support local, and enjoy a delicious cheeseburger. And that mm. raises the question, like we were mm -hmm. talking about, what kind of cheese do you like on your burger? This has American. Is that American or cheddar? I think it's American, isn't it? I like both of those I do on too. my burger. I mean, you cannot go wrong with that. Maybe sometimes mm -hmm. Swiss, mm -hmm. but I think that the old standby, at least, is you just a go good wrong. old American cheese. Yeah burger. A little lettuce, a little tomato, a little mustard on there. Let us know. Share your comments on social media. Tag us at SA Live KSET and you might see your answers just a little bit later on in the show. Okay, well after sampling that yummy burger, you need an equally amazing dessert. And ever since home baker Sierra Graham started selling her cheesecake, she's been constantly selling out and fighting to keep up with demand. That's a good problem know, to that's have, a good you know. To have. We went out to find out how one tweet changed her life and how you can order one of these sweet cakes. So I started baking cheesecakes about a year ago. Um, honestly, one night I was just on Pinterest and I was looking at desserts that I could maybe try and make and I saw this really good cheesecake and it didn't look too difficult so I decided to bake it. Um, first try, it was definitely difficult but then I just kept persevering and I kept going with it. And I decided to do cheesecakes because it's not something that you see that's really locally made around here other than H-E-B and Cheesecake Factory. So I wanted to do something that I could provide for people that you're not finding everywhere. Um, I honestly started looking just by looking up other recipes from what other chefs and bakers were doing and I started tweaking them to make it to the way that I liked it. 
Um, everyone's gonna have their own opinion on the way that they think their perfect cheesecake is, but this has been my perfect recipe, and from the response that I'm getting, other people agree as well. My business started taking off about four months ago. I actually started this really just by giving it to friends and family, and then they kind of suggested that I should start selling them. Um, one day I made a tweet, and by the power of social media, it went viral, and the next day, my cheesecakes were sold out, and it's been that way for four months now. With the ideas that I've gotten from them, I try and look at what other restaurants have done. Cheesecake Factory is always a good source, but then I like to tweak it for my own style. My most popular flavor is probably the lemon blueberry, which is what you're gonna see here today. Um, but the other two I would have to say is always gonna be the plain with just strawberries or strawberry sauce or the Oreo as well. For the future that I think is gonna be in store for Sierra Sweet Cakes, I would love to be able to one day actually be in a kitchen, hopefully then go to a bakery, definitely get my shipping taken care of by the end of the year so that I can expand all across the US. So today we're gonna to be making the lemon blueberry cheesecake just so you guys can kind of see how the process goes. One of the most important things that you do want to remember is that you do want your products to be room temperature. If they're too cold, sometimes it can make your cheesecake a little bit clumpy and it won't rise the way that you want it to. So you always want to start together with the flour, the cream cheese, and the sugar. You want your dry ingredients first before you start going to the wet ingredients and you wanna make it combine for about a minute if you have a stand mixer. If you're using a hand mixer, it's gonna take a little bit longer. I'd say about five minutes. Once it's been well combined, make sure to go ahead and scrape both the sides and the bottom so you can get any of the clumps out. Let it combine for a little bit longer and then you can go ahead and start applying the wet ingredients like your sour cream and eggs. Let the sour cream combine. If you're gonna be doing something like we're with, with we are with the lemon blueberry, make sure that you add the extracts or your juices first before you add in your eggs. Make sure each egg is well combined before you continue to add the next. Once your filling is then prepared to be put in the pan, make sure that your springform pan is gonna be aligned with aluminum foil and then a slow cooker bag or a turkey bag. That way that it avoids any water going into your pan. Put it inside of the water bath and then go ahead and bake. Once it's done baking, make sure that you let it properly cool. That is gonna be with letting it set with the door closed and then crack before you remove it. After that's finished, you wanna let it set for seven to eight hours or because at the power of TV, it's ready now. This topping is a blueberry compote that I made. All sauces and caramels and creams are all made fresh. Make sure you let it drizzle down the sides a little. It's okay if some of the mess happens. This is not a prim and proper kitchen. Add your lemon slices and you're good to go. And there you have it, your lemon blueberry cheesecake. If you'd like to check out these cheesecakes and more, you can find me on Instagram or Facebook at Sierra Sweet Cakes underscore. You'll see my purple logo with the cheesecake in the middle, or you can go to SierraSweetCakes.com. And she uh, was talking about that blueberry lemon cheesecake. I have been we eyeballing have this. have one mm -hmm. right in front of us. <laughs> okay. Sierra, stop. That is, the that is the creamiest cheesecake, but it still has a good cream cheese oh, so flavor good. to it, you know? You oh. guys, it's so okay. good. She is still, do we? Do I, I, we I know we have read, to keep reading, we? but um, so Sierra, Sierra also is has resuming a, orders this yeah, Sunday go. at noon. Go ahead and take a bite. Mm. Hey, you can place orders on her website only, and mm. she is constantly mm. inundated with orders, so do not wait. Yes, we can tell you. Oh. Yes, we can see why. Sierra also has a pop-up shop coming next Saturday, September 26th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Shotgun House Roasters, located at 1333 Buena Vista, which is just outside West Downtown. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Yes. For more information on Sierra Sweet Cakes, go to our website, mm. salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. I just took another bite. I okay. <laughs> From homemade cakes to handmade jewelry, on this Feel Good Friday, we are sharing a story behind the jewelry you find in some area boutiques. Yes, Priya Accessories is family owned with pops of color. All the detail that goes into these artisan creations is so much more than you may know. And today, our Jen Tobias Trusky shares how each purchase is going back to help women in Colombia. Priya stands for Paola, 
and Valeria. Uh, she's my older sister and her oldest uh, daughter. Made with love, Priya accessories can be found at San Antonio area boutiques. And while the colors and styles are so eye-popping, you may not know the story behind the jewelry. Colombian women, most of them single moms working as artisans, including owner Angela Solano's sister, Viola. She's a single mother uh, with three children. Um, uh, her last child, um, a handsome baby boy. <laughs> Uh, he born with a disease uh, three years ago. It's a genetic disease. It is the first case in Colombia, and it is one of the 20th around the world. For Paola, that meant therapy every day for her little boy, treatments and doctor's appointments. Which uh, prevented her for, from going to work regularly. So she had to quit her job. And after that, um, she started facing a hard time now. And I was thinking <laughs> and thinking, how can I help her? So I need to do something right for her now. So um, she's my family uh, for her three children, so, which, uh, who I love uh, so much uh, too. And so, 10 months ago, Priya Accessories was born, influenced by the Colombian culture. Um, when I visited uh, the markets and fairs here uh, around San Antonio, I did not see like any artisan earrings like those. So I encouraged uh, my sister to start making the earrings from home since uh, she's very talented now with craft. Uh, she's an architect, uh, by the way. <laughs> There's so much work that goes into these colorful styles and already they're gaining popularity and you can see why. Which is strongly characterized by colorful flora, fauna, bears, the Amazon, rainforest, and of course the joy of the people. <laughs> they have a very good acceptance now um, with the boutiques, within the boutiques and some of my girlfriends. So we had to involve other talented women um, to help us uh, make the of the family. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Tresky. Such beautiful right? jewelry and great cause and great way to support local as well. Oh yes, and all this weekend you can get 30% off all online orders, no code needed. All you have to do is head on over to salive.com and click on the Ask Seen on SA Live tab for more information and for her website. All right, still ahead on SA Live, cocktails, barbecue, Tex-Mex food. Hey, what more can we ask for? We're getting a quick tour of great Texas cuisine. But first, bored with all those Zoom calls, turn off the camera and break a sweat. We're showing you some clever exercises you can do at your desk. It's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's a Get Fit Friday, even though we're sitting down. So if you're trying to live healthy, it's always good to squeeze in a workout 
wherever you can. Are you shopping online right now? Hey, How did hey, you know? We're all doing Zoom calls, so <laughs> we have a couple of exercises that you can do in your de at your desk. First of all, we're going to do some squats. Let me pull this chair over like this. I'm glad you're doing the and, squats. Yes, and the whole <laughs> deal is just come down, and this is a good way to just touch the seat like that, and you can hold your arms out. <laughs> And just come right down and come right back up. And that's just during your Zoom call. I love now, that. Okay. Now, of course, you're, it's going to go from your face to your chest mm -hmm. on the Zoom call, but. Okay, you might have water <laughs> bottles there, you know, at you, you know, with you at your desk. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can just grab those water bottles. They can act as some weights. And if you just need to get even some stretching in, I mean, you can use them. Some exercise, move your arms around, get that circulation going. Okay. And I'm, hopefully my chair doesn't scooch on me, but you can also do triceps. So and glad you're doing these too. <laughs> I've done these in a long time. You're so time. strong. You were so. Okay. You're, you have I've nothing done, to be worried I've done, about. I've done two. <laughs> so. Okay. So these are some of the things you can do. Mm -hmm. All right. So there, we we tried our best. Who am I kidding? You tried your best. Okay. But the trainers at Gym Guys have some more moves you can do during your Zoom calls. <laughs> Well, working from home is the new normal for a lot of folks, and video chats have become parts of our everyday lives, but spending the whole day in front of a screen can be really uncomfortable and can be really hard on the body in those uncomfortable chairs. That's why Melissa Zantella, owner of San Antonio's Mobile Fitness Gym Guys, joins us today, and she's going to show us some exercises that we can do while sitting down. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon. And good afternoon to <laughs> Lamont, who's going to be demonstrating for us. Okay, first of all, what's the first exercise you want to show us? Calf raises? Yes, so the first exercise we are going to be demonstrating are calf raises. So you want to make sure your legs are in a 90 degree angle. You're going to raise your heels up, putting all your weight up on the balls of your feet. Then you're going to lower your heels back down and put that on repeat. Okay, and with your legs bent all day long, I know from way back when, when I was playing Little League and a catcher, I gotta, you know, stand up and, and straighten my legs. I guess straightening your legs is good exercise too, right? Of course. So the next one we're gonna show you are uh, single leg extensions, and those focus on your quads. So it, once again, in the 90 degree angle, he is going to extend his right leg, and then bring it back down, and then alternate those legs. There you go. Get that stretch in. So we're working on those quads once again. About how many times should you do that? 10 reps each leg. Um, you can focus on one leg at a time or you can alternate. It's totally up to you. Okay, sitting down can really be, a. I know your, <laughs> your derriere starts to hurt a little bit, but the thighs, can, it can be tough on that too. What can you do for that? The next exercise are inner thigh squeezes. So in that 90 degree angle, you're going to Squeeze your thighs together, hold that for five seconds, and then release. And then um, if you want to make it more difficult, you can grab a volleyball or a pillow, anything you have around, and focus on squeezing those inner thighs with the object between your legs. Oh, and you could be sitting at your desk and doing that, and nobody would be the wiser if you're on a Zoom meeting or something, right? Exactly, no one would know. You're being active while being in that meeting. Okay, hey, tell us about your gym. Now, it's centered all around personal training, right? Right, so the great thing about Gym Guys is we focus on convenience. So we basically show up wherever the client is wanting to meet at the time they choose and the day they choose. We train all age groups, so kids all the way to seniors. Uh, we bring all the equipment and basically show you the best hour of your life. Okay, and where can people go to find out more and find you? They can go to gymguys.com. They will basically fill out a form that will give you all our information and oh. you'll be hearing from a trainer. Oh, and Melissa, owner of San Antonio's mobile fitness gym, Gym Guys. Thank you very much, both of you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank Have you. a great day. Hey, still ahead on SA Live, your child's classroom can win a special prize. See, how, see if your teacher qualifies and how they can enter the giveaway. And next, health is another top priority in the classroom where you can go to make sure your family is getting medical care even if you're struggling with some money. It's straight ahead.
Now that school is back in session, parents might be looking for affordable ways to get health screenings for their kids. For 25 years, Community First Health Plans has helped local families get access to much needed medical care through programs like Medicaid. Joining us now is Cynthia De La Pena, Senior Manager of Corporate Communications and Marketing for Community First Health Plans. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? Good, now how can Medicaid help families with back to school health care needs? Well, for parents, in addition to every year having to worry about school supplies, this year they're worried about, are they staying home for, sc for school? Are they going back into the classroom? But in addition to that, they also have to worry about wellness checkups, dental checkups, physicals, and immunizations. And the great thing about Medicaid is that Medicaid covers all of these benefits and medical coverages at no cost to families that are eligible for it. How can families apply for Medicaid? Families have many options to apply for Medicaid. They can always call 211 and speak to a bilingual operator that can walk them through the application step by step. If they don't want to call 211 and they want to do it on their own, they can log on to yourtexasbenefits.com and they can go through the application online. Now, should they have questions when they're doing it online, they're welcome to call Community First Health Plans and we also have bilingual representatives that can help them through the process. So what happens if a family isn't eligible for Medicaid? Well, if a family is actually not eligible for Medicaid, that's okay because one application actually determines eligibility for multiple programs. So if a family does not in fact qualify for Medicaid, they may be eligible for a program called CHIP or Children's Health Insurance Program, which covers the same type of benefits that Medicaid does, except with applicable co-pays based on their family size and income. So there's always other alternatives for families when they're applying for Medicaid. Now you're the only local nonprofit health plan in Bear and surrounding counties. What does that mean? Well, we're very proud of that. And what that means is that when you're calling us, you're calling your friend and your neighbor. So when you're calling our call center, that means that you're speaking to somebody that lives right here in the San Antonio community. And who better to guide you through your health care um, journey than somebody that knows how diverse our community is by and by living here in San Antonio as well. So I think that's what makes us a little bit different and really gives us more insight as to what our members and what the community really needs. All right, for more information on Community First Health Plans, call 210-227-2347 or visit cfhp.com. Cynthia, thank you so much for your time and stay safe. Thank you. Next on SA Live, whether you're looking for cocktails or great food, David Elder will tell us where to go for some of the best. He's got a great weekend roundup coming up. Gosh, that looks good. Welcome back to SA Live. Hey, cocktails, barbecue, Tex-Mex, what are you hungry for this weekend? Can you say all of the above? <laughs> well, no matter what you're looking for, David Elder's gonna have something for you on this week's Texas Eats. Here's a look at a few of the places that will get your tummy rubbling and your mouth watering. When it comes to fresh Japanese food, there's one place in San Antonio that's got it in the name. Let's go inside Unico Japanese House. Joining us now is Andres Castro. He is the executive chef and owner out here at Unico. But before we eat, and you got something on fire over here, you got a fish looking at us, and you have this gorgeous presentation, what does the name of the restaurant mean, Unico? When you think of Texas barbecue, the dino beef rib is like the coveted, oh man, I hope they have dino beef ribs over there. Well, they do. This is why I would get in my car and drive down here to Pleasanton to come try this barbecue, the dino beef rib. Top of my list. This is probably one of the favorite bites I've had in a while for barbecue here in Texas. This right here is homemade peach cobbler with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on top. I love it, you're in Fredericksburg, you gotta have the peaches, right? You gotta try it out. And they're making everything from scratch. You can see the toppled crust there. That just, oh, it just cracks right into it. Gooey inside. This is one of my favorite desserts of all time. This, this is the bite, y'all. This is like the most Southern dessert that you can get next to pecan pie. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. This restaurant is known for micheladas. The biggest drink on the menu, a three-tiered michelada made with 60 ounces of beer. This gigantic drink is made with layers of flavor that have been developed for decades. At only $40, the Michelada Red Volcada is perfect for any celebration, especially since you need three people to order it. Each layer of the drink is assembled with cucumbers, shrimp, jicama, chamoy, tahin powder, spicy scorpion Tabasco, and so many more spices that they wouldn't even tell me. Now we're traveling to Green, Texas, known for Green Hall, the Guadalupe River, and a pizza joint with some attitude. Let's go inside Inferno's wood-fired oven and spirits. This pizza spot is serving up some spicy creations, including their flagship item, the Inferno Pizza. Hand-tossed pizza dough gets stretched and covered with house-made sauce, mozzarella cheese, scorpion pepper-infused sausage, and tomatoes. The pizza gets slid into the wood fire oven set at around 715 degrees and cooks for about five to seven minutes. The pizza gets topped with fresh basil and shaved Parmesan cheese. This right here is the Inferno pizza. Now this has, get this, house-made scorpion pepper sausage. Cheese just falling off that slice of pizza mm. and the peach. I actually had to move closer to the TV to look at that peach cobbler. So, hey, don't forget to watch Texas Eats tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, right here on KSAT 12. You can also watch anytime at ksat.com slash Texas Eats and on the KSAT TV app. Where are doggy bags? I hey, know. Bags? We hey, have next, enough, though. <laughs> next on SA Live, 1,000 teachers will win a very special gift, and it could be your child's classroom that benefits. Grab a pen and paper right now because we're about to tell you how to enter to win. It's straight ahead. Don't go anywhere. 1,000 classrooms are going to get some big help through this pandemic. One group wants to make sure that children learning to read do not fall behind. And Keisha Dimbo from the nonprofit First Book is here to tell us about an exciting giveaway they're doing. Hey there. Hi there. How are you? Doing well. What is Wish for Books? Wishes for Books is a really great program that is a collaborative initiative of three organizations, actually. So American Heritage Chocolate, uh, Mars Wrigley brand, has a strong commitment to education. We've partnered with them for years at First Book. Made by Us is a coalition of more than 80 civic and historic organizations. And then, of course, First Book, my organization, believes that education is the best path out of poverty. So we've come together to create this really great program where we will be giving away 20,000 books to 1,000 teachers all across the United States. And that is going to be extremely appreciated. How does it work and can some of our local schools benefit? Absolutely. Uh, the way it works is that Title I teachers, so the teachers must be Title I, they can go onto mywishforus.com and go to the About page. That's where they can enter their classroom's wish for the future of America and enter the giveaway. That's gonna be open all the way through September 21st. And then later this fall, we will randomly select 1,000 Title I teachers to receive this wonderful gift of 20,000 books altogether. So will students be able to benefit even if they're say learning at home? Oh yeah, absolutely. So it doesn't really matter whether they are learning at home, whether they're in the classroom, whether they're doing a hybrid, going back and forth between the two. The teachers will use them either in the classroom, they may decide to even send them home with the kids so that the kids can read them on their own time in their own homes. What grades or age ranges will be getting the books? 
Well, this is the beauty of this. So the books will be available on the First Book Marketplace. And so First Books Marketplace has a selection of books that are for kids zero to 18. So any age is possible. It completely depends on the grade that the teacher's teaching. Keisha, where can we go for more information? My Wish for Books. Dot com. Uh, go to the About page. Title I teachers can enter there. To learn more about American Heritage Chocolate, go to AmericanHeritageChocolate.com. And to learn more about First Book and how we support kids in need, go to FirstBook.org. Thank you so much, Keisha Dimbo. Stay safe out there. We appreciate your time. Next on SA Live, don't ignore that toothache. How to tell if you're having a dental emergency and how you can get treatment fast. But right now, you don't want cold showers this fall. Did you know KSAT local expert John Wayne Service Company replaces water heaters? Check it out. Hi, I'm Chris with John Wayne Service Company. Today we're installing a brand new electric water heater. It's an older home. The folks living inside were beginning to run out of hot water. Checked into it, turned out we had some components that were bad. So we decided to go ahead and upgrade the system completely with a brand new water heater. Let's go take a look. So an installation like this generally takes about three to four hours. Uh, the old tank, of course, has to be completely taken out. All of the old valves, fittings, all the old pan and everything all completely comes out. At John Wayne Service Company, we're going to start over all new from top to bottom for a completely safe, uh, reliable water heater replacement. So this particular water heater does feature a 10-year warranty and it does have manual thermostatic controls on the front of it. So if a homeowner were to leave like these folks do on one of their trips, they can turn that down to a vacation mode, save on their energy bills while they're gone, come back home and easily turn it back on again. So from time to time, the homeowners do have family that come in and visit. Uh, we made sure that we got an appropriate sized tank as far as capacity goes. Not to where they have so much that it costs them on their monthly bills to keep it hot, but enough that it will be there when family arrives so they don't run out. I'm Chris with John Wayne Service Company, and if you've got questions about your water heater, give us a call or visit us at johnwayne.com. Did you know skipping out on urgent dental care could land you in the hospital? Dr. Samuel Escarcega with JH Emergency Dental has some tips to help keep your teeth healthy. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Of course. Now, doctor, in what shape would someone be to visit an emergency dental center? Generally speaking, uh, when people hear the word emergency, um, we're thinking about pain, either from infection, a broken tooth, uh, a large cavity that hasn't been addressed. Um, but there are also other types of emergencies, such as a chipped front tooth and they have an interview tomorrow, or um, some discoloration and they have a wedding to go to and they want uh, some solution rapidly um, to address their problem and uh, help them look their best for whatever the situation may be. But the pain is generally the, the most typical type of dental emergency. Now, you mentioned a few of them there. Are there any other types of common dental emergencies? So when we talk about pain from uh, a dental perspective, generally speaking, uh, we're talking about a broken tooth um, or a tooth that uh, has had a large cavity that uh, has been neglected for whatever reason, time, finances, uh, and then has resulted in an infection in and around the roots uh, between the tooth and the bone that can cause some swelling. Uh, in those circumstances, we would uh, look into either doing a root canal if the tooth can be saved or doing an extraction uh, if the infection is severe. Um, but uh, the other thing would be a broken tooth that uh, is causing some sensitivity, not necessarily a lot of pain, uh, but the patient knows that the tooth is in trouble and to try to prevent a root canal or prevent an infection, then we would look at either doing a filling or covering that tooth and protecting it with a crown. 
Now, when should a person, you know, wait for their dentist or visit JH Emergency Dental? That's really up to the patient's perspective. I will say that if they're having pain, certainly you don't want to wait uh, for their for their dentist. Um, and that's where we come in. That's why I created JH Emergency Dental. Uh, most folks, when they have pain, it's inconvenient. And when they do call the after hours number for their, for their general dentist, what they end up encountering is an appointment one, two, three days away. And in those days, the pain can become worse, affecting their sleep, affecting their ability to do their job, uh, affecting their mood. Um, so that, that's what we're here for. Um, also, too, if they have a swelling uh, or developing a fever, or they can appreciate pus is coming out of the area or bleeding. Certainly, you don't want to wait on those ones. You want to come in and, and let me look at you um, so that we can find a solution to your problem and prevent you from having more pain, increasing infection, and worst case scenario, prevent you from having to go to the hospital. All right, and of course, you mentioned a lot of the benefits of choosing JH Emergency Dental is, you know, that time may be of the essence. And of course, if you need urgent dental help, just call 210-796-4663. That's 210-796-4663, or visit jhemergencydental.com. Dr. Escarcega, thank you so much for your time and stay safe. I appreciate it. Monday, we're kicking off National Dog Week with some homemade tasty treats for your pups. We're going to show you easy recipes so your dogs can enjoy flavors just like you. Plus, fall is almost officially here, and it's a great time to get your garden going. We've got planting tips you need to know right now. That's all Monday at 1 p.m. on SA Live. All right. Earlier, we asked, what kind of cheese do you like on your cheeseburger? Not what kind of cheese are you? What kind of cheese do you like on your burger? <laughs> okay, Jacob says, I love extra hot cheese on my burgers. Ooh, look at that with the hot Cheetos and everything. Southside SA has the best ones. And love cheddar cheese on my cheeseburger. Yes, Rachel, that's good too. Tony says, I love mushroom and Swiss on a buttered sourdough burger. That's a full order. Swiss is good on a turkey burger, too. American cheese, please. Yes, the old standby. Adam says, Monterey Jack, onions and green peppers. Yes, Ursula liked Monterey Jack also. Jalapeno cheese. And oh. have, you ever, have you ever put the cheese on the inside? Take your, your, the raw meat, flatten it out a lot, put the cheese in there, and then seal it up, and then do it on the grill. That sounds that's, like I'm delaying eating my burger. That's that really was too good. much. I, <laughs> no. 